We have a really exciting experience coming up to this generation. A total solar eclipse is going to be viewable for the first time in decades in North America, and people are pretty excited about it. This will be happening, uh, being, well, the path of totality will be crossing over the uh, United States on August 21st. Uh, there will be a solar corona for up to two minutes and 40 seconds. People are really excited. Some of them are throwing free viewing parties, uh, including oh, wow. this one, to which some lady asks, <laughs> most kids go back to school that day. Can it be done uh, on the weekend? <laughs> the answer is no. You what? cannot, well, no, I mean. No, you cannot control the sun. Well, <laughs> it's rescheduling the moon to be right. three days. Right. Uh, uh, just push my glasses <laughs> back up because uh, th that's the order that we're viewing them. Yes, in. yeah, it's the, it's the moon blocking out the mm -hmm. sun. Yes. Okay. And um, so this is very unique. Uh, total solar eclipses actually happen uh, every 18 months on average, but it's in different, it's viewable, the, to the path of totality, which is where you would view the moon completely blocking out uh, the sun and seeing the, the corona there is in a different viewable position on the Earth at different times. So um, the last time this happened in the continental US, it was 1979, and we won't get another one until 2024. Oh, wow. So this is a really cool event because I wasn't alive then. I want to no, see this. I wasn't alive either. I totally <laughs> want to see this. So um, there are people who actually follow where the path of totality goes. Uh, we, I think we have a chart showing different places on the earth that could happen. So yeah, this is from 2001 to 2020. And this is a, I mean, this, uh, it goes back to ancient astronomy, even yeah. un understanding that how stars work, what their atmosphere is like, how the corona has different variable temperatures and densities all over it, and how different types of solar winds flow through interplanetary space. But this, this chart will show where these total and annular and high hybrid eclipses have been and will be in the future. So uh, there are certain people who do follow these around, one of whom is Shadia Habal, co-chair of the American Astro Astronomical Society's Solar Eclipse Task Force and a solar physicist at the University of Hawaii's Institute for Astronomy, which is a very long title. I so <laughs> like that there is such thing as a solar eclipse task force. That makes solar eclipses sound very serious. Yeah, well, I mean. They are. They, they're astronomical. Ah, striking, really, because yeah. it's, I mean, in ancient times, people would see them and think, oh no, the world can, is ending. I was gonna say, I can only imagine being like early humankind seeing this go down and you you must, I mean, no wonder all of those early civilizations have all of this crazy mythology to try to explain phenomenon like this because that is that is terrifying. Mm -hmm. As, because now I feel like you can really enjoy a total solar eclipse because we know what it is. Mm -hmm. But science didn't exist back then the way it does now. I mean, events like these are what drive curiosity yeah. and drive us to seek deeper knowledge. And that is what her group is. I mean, they're called, I think, uh, like they call themselves Sherpas. Okay. Uh, to follow the solar wind Sherpas because they have to lug around so much equipment to, to monitor these different solar events. And they go across the world, they learn more, and then they also learn about how it impacts people, where they go. Uh, she's written a book about this even, about different mm. people seeing this and, and experiencing it and feeling different ways. But then they also learn a lot about um, solar winds and how how the sun works and it, it is dri a driving force in uh, learning more about things that could actually very much impact us on earth. Yeah, well, I mean, if the uh, mythology in the series Sailor Moon is to be believed, when the <laughs> sun gets blocked yes, out by yes. the moon, the dead moon circus arrives on earth. So I'm not looking forward to that, but it all turns out okay. So well, then we just have to call the sailor scouts. Exactly. <laughs> and then it'll all. be okay. Yeah. There's a sailor sun, right? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> so, um, so this is happening very soon. A lot of people in the United, the continental United States, will be able to view this. You, uh, they cannot move the day. I called the moon and checked <laughs> myself. Audience, will you be making time for this? I hope the answer is yes. Please let us know below and please like and subscribe for more.